Okay, for this video, we're going to go and now find the corresponding eigenvector for the value lambda 2 equals 2. And just like before, we're going to be solving that 2 by 2 system. A minus lambda i times v is equal to the zero vector. And so our matrix A is still the same. It is still 5, 3, negative 6, negative 4. But now we're going to subtract our value of lambda, which in this case is now a positive 2. And that is times the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. And again, it's this matrix times unknown eigenvector V equals 0. And you'll notice that this has the result of subtracting 2 off of the main diagonal. So we're actually going to be solving... And we're going to have our 5 minus 2, of course, giving us a 3. And then we have the original 3 that's in this location here. We have the original negative 6 in this spot here. And then negative 4, take away 2 more, is going to give us a negative 6 for this entry of the matrix. And again, that's times V equal to the 0 vector. For this one, we will now go through and do row operations. And you'll notice that this one is really easy to operate on. All you have to do is just take one-third of the top row and put the result back into the top row. And for the second one, we can take row 2 plus twice the number above to make 0. So that's going to be row 2 plus 2 times row 1. Overwrite the result into row 2. And so that row operation is going to leave us with, in the first spot, one-third of three is one, one-third of three is one. And the second spot, negative six plus two times the three is going to give us a zero. And then same thing happens here because the numbers are the same. That's going to also give us a zero. So you'll notice that once again, you get that very important row of zeros. And again, if you don't get a row of zeros when you do this, you have made a mistake in the problem. All right, now this is going to be times our unknown V, which is V1 and V2. And that, of course, is still equal to the zero vector. If we now multiply this out, this says that 1 times V1 plus 1 times V2 is equal to zero. And of course, the second row of all zeros tells us nothing. So now we know that V1 is equal to opposite V2. So when we write our eigenvector V in the first location, V1 and V2, we can swap out the V1 with the negative V2, and the V2 will stay the same. And of course, just like before, we can factor out the V2. It leaves us with negative 1 and positive 1. So our vector corresponding to 2 is negative 1, 1. All right, so now we have our two eigenvalues and we have our two eigenvectors. The next step of the problem is to build our general solution.